Okay, welcome back. And we left off with the first part of Blender, making a mesh. And we were in Blender. And actually, what we have to do now is we have to go into the newest version of Blender at this moment, which is Blender 2.77. Why do I have to go into a different version of Blender, you ask? Well, because the older version of Blender, which you, you need to use for creating custom content for The Sims 3 and 4, that's only compatible with The Sims 3 and 4, any like lower version. The thing that you need so that your uh, mesh will work with sliders is not in the older versions. It's in this version. And big shout out to Eliava. Like, she's cool. That's like my friend right there. She's like awesome for making a UV1 tutorial. I literally would like scream and shout and be like, oh my God, like Eliava, like I'm getting so pissed off. Like my meshes aren't working with sliders. And then she finally made this tutorial and I was like, holy crap. Like, my mesh works and I like died. So <laughs> um, really big shout out to her. She's like a huge help. She's super nice and go send her lots of love. So now I have to file open and I have to open the blend that I just saved from Blender in the last video. And then I'm going to file append the reference mesh and if your reference mesh has more than one group just merge all them together and you don't need this rig 0.001 nor do you need the empty so now i'm going to before i start this go to this like triangle icon and if you have not already make what you do is you click this plus button and then name it UV underscore one. But I have it there be already because of me merging my mesh with like my top like mesh with the EA body, but it's not done yet. So basically this is what a UV one looks like. It's really weird. It is really, really weird. But it is, it's so that your mesh will work with the sliders. Now, this, you have to do this. You have to do this. If you do not do this, your mesh will not work with the sliders. And if it does work, and if your mesh does look fine in game, but it's not like, he like he heavier sim friendly, like that's a big problem because then people aren't going to want to use it because not everybody has thin sims so this is key you have to do this i don't care if you don't like it you have to so go to this wrench icon then click add modifier and go over here to data transfer then click let me face corner data then click uvs oops oh you have to go to source object and click S4 Studio Mesh 1. Point, yeah, the other one. And if your mesh turns black, that like it's okay. It's like supposed to. So then go to here and click UV1. Then click UV1 again. And then just click apply and it should go back to normal. That's literally all you have to do. It is super easy. And again, thank you, Eliava, for showing everyone how to do that. Because if you didn't show everyone how to do that, we'd all be lost. <laughs> but you can delete the reference mesh and just save this over the blend. And then we're going to go back in the old version. Just reopen it. it. And if it doesn't give you like this, like this thing, like file written by newer blender binary, you probably forgot to save it. It says expect data, loss of data. Nothing's lost. Trust me. It's fine. But if you get this error, I mean, I guess that's good because like it means that you saved it and like from the other blender. So now, um, you have to transfer weight. So what do you know? You have to append the reference mesh <laughs> again. So file appends, find your reference mesh. Object. And you click the ref, you click 
I'm sorry, you click the reference mesh first, then you click your mesh, then go over here where it says object mode, and you go to weight paint. Make sure auto normalize is ticked, click transfer weights. And I'm just actually going to undo that so that you can see what that does. Notice how... Hold on, I'm going to go and like... Weight paint mode along with this. Notice how the only thing that has weights is the actual body itself, but the shirt does not have weights. So that's a problem. <laughs> so that's where I you do the thing that I just showed you. You shift click, weight paint mode, transfer weights. And I usually do to the nearest face, whatever floats your boat. And then okay, I'm gonna try and find like more. Oh, so hard to find them in here. Okay, but you, like you like get the point, right? Okay, so you get the point. Just like. Transfer weight. Okay. Wait, that's what it failed. No other selected objects of vertex groups found. Oh, wait, I did this in cycles render. Oh, that's because I forgot to. Um, make sure that... Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Okay. Make sure they're all visible and then transfer the weights. Because if there's an error at the top, that's some that's wrong, okay? And now you can delete the reference, and then if we go into cycles render, and there we go. You see how like there's like an actual weight there on like the right breast, the cast are breast. Like this stands for right breast, so I mean like you you did good, you did good. So. That you have to do also. If you don't do that, your mesh ain't going to be in the same place that you put it in Blender. So you make sure that that's good. So then you make sure you rename your meshes like to whatever it is. And then the cut number, the first, the says for like the, it always goes zero, 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 zero. 0001, 0002, and like it goes for on for however many groups there are. Mine luckily only has one. I am probably going to show everyone how to do several groups. This I probably should have did it in this tutorial, but whatever. I'll just make a separate tutorial maybe if people have trouble. But just save your mesh and then after that just import it. Okay, and it's going to look, like, weird and stuff, and, like, it's going to look like it's not there or something like that. That's because your texture is not right, because your texture is all eh. So, <laughs> basically, if you want to use an EA texture, just use the texture. You can export, um... From there, and, yeah... I don't know if I want to use the EA texture yet, but I'll show you how to bake a texture. So basically, all you have to do is open this up, UV editor mode, select everything. If you want to make it um, HQ mod compatible, you have to click new and make it 2048 by 4096. If you don't want to make it HQ mod compatible, which I don't recommend doing, um, just make it 1024 by 2048. And then just click OK. Make sure the background's black. And select all of these. Make sure if you go to this little globe that your ambient occlusion is ticked, the factor is 1.75, your environment lighting is ticked, and it's 0 0.750. And your samples over here is at least 15. So then you go to this little camera, 
make sure this is at ambient occlusion and make sure the margin is at one and click bake. And yes, it will bake the actual body itself, but that is what Photoshop is for. So you're okay. And sometimes it'll like bake like a little weird like that you can also fix in Photoshop so but so then you just go to image save as image baked also if you're planning on using an EA texture just select all of this UVs export UV layout guide and I usually name it guide so that is uh, it for this tutorial. I'm going to do the Photoshop process and whatnot in the next tutorial. So thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.